here. So on an individual level, you know, because a group is made out of individuals, you know, often when we when we think about, say, like African liberation and things, we're thinking mostly as a group. But if you get a group of unhealthy, unwhole individuals together, then it's really not a, a strong group at all, is it? Well, I mean, the, 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 the strength of the cable is based upon the strength of the threads. The single threads that make up the cable. Mm -hmm. So if you build a cable with clay, you know, I, when you break, yeah. you know, so it basically your, the cable has to be, the threads of the cable have to be strong. So it is the eye and eye. It is the eye in the eye and the eye in the eye. Ubuntu I am because we are. So if each person do their um, ful fulfill their responsibility, all is well mm -hmm. for the collective. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's all that matters. So it is a, a Daniel time where you stand within your principles and you stand within that and then because you stand and another man stand and another man and a woman stand and two children stand and three, you know? Mm -hmm. Then the collective is strong. True. You know, so it is critical that we, we don't only just focus on what other people do, but what we are doing. So focus on yourself. That, that's for the, that's the journey that you're on. Not, not, not just for the people. Oh, then it's for the people and the free my people. Oh, yes, boy, yeah, free my people. But then you, you free yourself. The journey is for self-realization. Mm -hmm. So when you've realized yourself, then you become a, a star. Then you could illuminate the path of plenty other people. Give thanks, my Lord. That's the fire, right? Yes, sir. So now, um, when it comes to food and nutrition, and even medicine, which, you know, we know that you are, you know, a master of you know, uh, explaining and ministering, would you say that uh, black people, African people, um, have been, or that food and nutrition has been weaponized against us? That's <laughs> the you Nobody had to weaponize nothing against you. Because you make a choice. Okay, right now, where you live is a choice you make. Mm -hmm. Okay, what you eat is a choice you make. All right? Mm -hmm. So, when you come to that realization and, and self-value, that you really value what you eat and drink, if it means you come out of where you are, you'd come out. Because you've developed that intrinsic value system that you are willing to get the best of what is for you and you're willing to go out for it. Right? Mm -hmm. So... Yes, we could sit down and say black people listen, black people and black people and black people listen. And the same black people, when Black Friday comes, they are pushing down things and to buy whatever. And they're they still there buying all the weaves and all the, all, all the perms and yeah. all the sneakers and, you know, and, and all these different aspects. So I think that, as I say, it's, it's from, from center to circumference. Let us start by fixing ourselves, fixing our individual selves. Mm -hmm. You know, then at, then at least... Before we look out, you know, to of what a man doing to us is what we doing to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So take responsibility for your actions as a man. So your, your, where you are, yes, it could be there. There is systematic um, downpression. You know, all these things are there. You know, but that is why why diamond is diamond. Diamond is carbon that has actually, you know, crystallized under extreme pressure and become this gem that, 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 that I mean, to, it's worth, the worth of it is phenomenal, the strongest gem. Come on. So imagine a piece of charcoal, eh? right? Mm -hmm. And that going through intense pressure and crystallize into a precious stone that nothing else can cut. So, so we have a choice to to see what our what effect the pressure could have on us, whether we are victims or we are victors, you know. Mm -hmm. Whether you take your circumstance, you know. So, if you rise up yourself as a victor, that means you could rise up plenty of people with you, All right? Mm -hmm. So, that's what it is, beloved. You know, we are in a circumstance because of all the choices that we make, you know, and if you say, well, 
if if you if you don't have a choice, other makers gonna say, well, when you're back, when the back is against the wall, right? If you don't have a choice, right? What are you gonna do? When you if you think and you really have a choice, you do anything, boy, do anything, man, yeah, mm -hmm. anything, yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't wait until you don't have a choice, all right? So Marcus Garvey said, where's the black man business? Where's the black man school? Where's the black man thing? So, where's, the, where's the Rasta man business? Where's the Rasta man school? Where's the Rasta man business? And I said, it's for up to us. When you see the need for it, you do it. Right? So on whatever scale you do it, just because you're doing it, someone else will look and, and, and you could be, you become a role, not cool, you know, you become a role model. Right? For plenty of different people. Our, our position, yes, we are. We went through hard times, right? But we cannot sit down in that and keep on saying that we're number one in the world if diabetes and number one if high blood pressure and most fibroids, most this, most that. Okay, yes, okay, all right. Then what, what are we doing about it then? Mm -hmm. What's the solution? What's, what's the solution? All right, so the solution is that you begin to take responsibility for your own destiny. All right, so you begin to don't leave your food on someone else. I mean, you're in the mountain, you could, I'm sure you've seen all type of food. I could, I could go, yeah, but for today, everything was from the mountain, you know. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right, so all these lands you see around the place that have all these big trees growing, people mm -hmm. used to be planting. So, all underneath this, these big forested things there, probably 50 years, 60 years, they abandoned it. All they used to have cocoa. And all different type of things people used to plant in the forest. Okay. Right? So they are born and then they, then they go into the city. So, and then they're hungry. So it's not only the people in New York, you know, or the people in Baltimore. The people in St. Lucia, that's in the abundance of green and tropical and fresh water and sunshine. Yeah. A lot of them is, is rice they had today. And enough of them don't have a... a, a, a uh, chives or seasoning pepper, you know, an okra or a tomato that they could pass and they could pick and when they could plant it in a in a in a bucket or they could do something. So it's 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 us as a people that has to reanalyze our values, you know, and begin to make decisions to uplift ourselves. Right. So it's not only the 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 African man in in Central in um, New York. Because oh, but it's so hard in New York and the noise, the African man in St. Lucia. That's how up, and it's not rich and poor. Because they have lands, I'm telling you that. The elders had, and none of the children want to plant it. <laughs> and tell me what you could plant that will not sell. Tell me something that you yeah. would plant that would not sell. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so if you plant oranges, it will sell. If you plant papaya, it will sell. If you plant cocoa, it will sell. If you plant herbs, it will sell. Whatever you plant, it will sell. You know? Mm -hmm. 